Hey guys, welcome to the channel IF4.0. This is Ajay. Hello. So the next fixed resource we are going to look in is this thing and the combiner today. So we have already seen source, queue and processors. Now we will be seeing sync and combiner. So the sync, we will drag it from the fixed resource library and pull it into the model working background. So this is a sync. So the sync is an object which is used to dump the flow items into. So basically, uh, if you want to uh, delete, we want to put the items into the dustbin, say. So the sync can be used as it. So the part which goes into the sink cannot be taken out. So it is permanently deleted from the model. It is eliminated from the Flexim model. So the sink is used only when you need to delete it and we need to use it as the end of our modeling line. So if you want to end the modeling line, we are going to use sink at the end of the line. This means all the items which are into the model will be ended into the sink. So this is basically a dead zone or it is a end zone where the items or the flow items are destroyed. So the sink is used at the end of the line mostly. So at the combiner. So this is all about sink. So we are having uh, statistics, templates, visual labels, inputs, ports, and we are having the triggers. So we are having triggers, one entry, on draw, pre-draw, reset, all these triggers for this thing. And we are having all these inputs, outputs, and central ports. From this thing, basically we are never going to have output port. So this is all about sync. So this is the sync model and what we have done is we have connected source to this thing and from sync we have created another output port Q1. So even if we have created output port from the sync, you can see that we are going to have no output from the sync. So from sync we are not going to have any output coming out. So sync is always the end of the line. So this is all about sync. I will reset the model and I'll delete the. So we are going to delete this objects and uh, we are going to drag the combiner into the model. So the main motto of the combiner object is to combine the things. And this is mostly used for packaging. So you can see the properties on the extreme right for the combiner. So the statistics, templates, visuals and labels are all same for all the objects. The difference is the special property window for the combiner. So we are also having processors uh, like, uh, properties into the combiner. The reason is that on the combiner also we can apply the setup time and the process times. Because for example, if we need to create a palletizing operation into the Flexim model, so we are going to use a combiner for it. So what we are going to have, we are going to have two flow items. One will be our pallet, another would be the boxes. So we are going to palletize the boxes on the pallet onto the combiner and we will have some process time for it, we will have some setup time for it. Those timings can be entered into this properties tab. So we are having this timing tab also here present. Then we have output, we have input, we have ports, and we will also have the trigger properties. So we will start with the combiner properties. What I will do is I will make a small model with two sources and with one queue. So from source one, I will change the queue's name to box and I, for source 2 I will make another queue entering into the combiner with name palette. 
so for the source we will use center arrival time arrival at 0 2 seconds every 2 seconds we need to have the box and palette needs to come every 10 seconds so this is what we have done so the flow item is box for source 1 for source 2 we will make it as palette I will reset it for combiner I will uh, check out the ports so in the input port we are having box on the port number 1 and for 2 we are going to have palette so in the combiner properties if you see we are having two major properties one is combined what we need to do we need to pack it we need to join it we need to batch it can be selected from this drop down then we have the component list so the component list is basically uh, the uh, target quantity see so this is done only for port input port 2 so the target quantity if you are going to put here 10 this is going to be applied only for uh, port 2 that means for a single pallet I need to pallet 10 boxes so this is the 10 quantity but what I need to pallet is I need to pallet boxes so I'm going to push these boxes down that is to the port 2 so now I have port 2 as box and port 1 as pallet so what I'm going to do for one pallet because for port 1 we are not going to specify any quantity we are going to specify the quantity only for port 2 3 4 so we can also do multiple combinations so initially we will just see with one with two ports that is one which is the permanent port another which is the combining port so we have done this that at port 2 we are having, having boxes with a target quantity of 10 so 10 boxes will form one pallet and this palletized box will be sent further to the queue we'll have one more queue here we have applied a processing time of 10 seconds for that pallet to be palletized I will reset and run the model so if you see we are having this pallet coming on this queue which is now on the combiner so you can see this combiner pallet and we are having these boxes so we have done that we are going to have a combination of 10 so this is 1 2 3 4 so 4 boxes in the first level second 4 so 4 ones are 4 2 is 8 4 3 is 12 that is 2 less it will form 10 so you can see this is the finished pallet that is the pallet is completed and we are having 10 boxes on this single pallet which is out so we have palletized the system so you can see the states of the combiner here so it is in processing once the processing is completed you can see collecting added as it is collecting the boxes once the collection of the boxes is done we are then going to do palletizing that is processing and the states will accordingly be changed this is changed to processing so we are having input as 30 output as 32 now this part count is based on all the entities then the current contents we are going to have and the maximum stay time so the maximum was 28 and on an average is 1.66 so you can see we are having this things done here now this is all about combinations so we are seeing what is packing now what we will do is we will change the combine to join and we'll check what's the uniqueness here so if you see the joining the location of the boxes you can see how it is into so I'll make it somewhat faster so we have made a join so you can see in the joining thing it has been entered that is it is joined into the pallet you cannot see the boxes or the parts out then we have batch so I'm running the model and we'll see wow this is done so 
we have the input as 11 that is 1 is the palette and the 10 are the boxes you can see how the batching is performed so this is the unique change you can see for batch for join and for packing these are the properties we have for combiner so we are keeping it as on the pack so we have seen the component listing from port input port 2 as 10 quantity what we'll do is we will add another source and a queue which will be acting as the port 3 we will change the uh, flow item to man for just an instance and we'll make this as 3 we'll not make it man let's say we'll make it tot and I'll reset it and I'll run it now if you see on the combiner we are having input port 2 which is box with a quantity of 10 we also need to enter how much totes need to be combined that is port 3 here we can put that but we cannot put the target quantity for the port 1 that is input port 1 that we need to so so the input port 1 connection to the combiner should always be a pallet or it should be a tote because all the quantities we are going to combine, pack, join, batch into that single entity. So that should be always connected to the port 1. We can put this a quantity as 5. We can reset it. So the total quantity will be 15 plus 1 pallet. That is 16 to the queue. So we'll run this. You can see the totes. Okay. And also the boxes. So this is what the structures would be looking like. So this is all about combiners. These are all the triggers we can use in order to change. We will see the triggers for all the fixed resources when we are going to look for the tutorials or the assignments. We will be exploring all these triggers because there we will be requiring the exact details to be entered so as to get exact results so this is in detail explanation for combiner so we have completed the combiner uh, property explanations and we will see the separators into the next video thank you